What's up everybody, this is Heathen Monster and welcome to Ken CrossFit and today I want to show you some pinch grip uh, tips. Uh, pinch grip I think really helps with uh, the arsenal of making our hands stronger, whether it's for powerlifting or for strongman and you can use this in any gym wherever you travel, so let's go check it out. Alright, so we got uh, uh, two pairs of 10s over here, if you come check this out. You know, everybody's uh, plates are always different in the gym, right? So these are all 410s, but look at the thickness, right? You know, that can make a difference. So if you're a beginner, we can start with the skinny 10, for example. Uh, one exercise you can do is pinch grip holds, you know. Uh, this requires a lot of like fingertip pressure. So if you notice, I'm actually squeezing with my thumb and the four fingers and stuff. I'm not like cheating and putting my finger in the hole and stuff. But after like say a deadlift day or something like that, if you want to do this like for some static holds, this would be super challenging, okay? Now, if you use a thicker one, obviously that's a little bit tougher because look at how, look at the difference right here, you know? That's a big difference. It's going to make it a lot harder to hold, but we can still do some pinch grip holds and stuff. If you don't feel safe standing up, what you can do is just sit down on the bench hold it for time, and then if your grip starts slipping, at least if it drops on the floor, it's not going to drop right your toe. You know what I'm saying? Another exercise you can do as well, we can do some one-arm rows. Kind of just step back, fingertip pressure, try and hold this. You don't want to prevent that from happening. You don't want these guys sliding back and forth. So you got to really clamp down, apply that fingertip pressure, and do some rowing motion like this, making sure it doesn't slip, okay? Now if we want to get more extreme, we can graduate to the 25s. That's obviously a big more weight, but you can chalk up, hold this bugger for time, or even do a roll. That's going to be a pretty nasty exercise to do, okay? So sometimes I like to do like static holds or maybe even some side bends. You can work on that, all right? All right, so another exercise you can do with 10s or even 5s for that matter if you're a beginner, we can do some plate forearm curls. I want to make sure my fingers are not in the hole. They're just kind of on the bottom edge. Set yourself up on a bench or in this case a hyper, and we can do some wrist curls with it. Let me tell you, you do this bugger for like 10 to 15 reps, a couple sets, it's murder on your forearms, okay? So if 10s are too much, go ahead and use some 5s. All right, and then another one I like to do too, you can probably reduce the weight on this, is we'll do some hammer curls with the pinch grip. In this case, I got some 5s. I think 5s are a good start for the beginners. Hold it on your side. Trying to prevent that plate from sliding, you know? If you notice, like, my thumb wants to slide. We don't want that action going. We want to squeeze, get it nice and tight. If you feel really confident, you can even do a hammer curl and press, okay? But if you don't feel safe again standing up, go ahead and do it sitting down. So that if your grip happens to fatigue and drop, it'll just safely drop on the ground, okay? All right, gang, so hopefully those tips will help you with your training. Uh, it doesn't take much. Uh, we just use a pair of fives, a pair of tens, or even the 25s if you're super strong. So, you know, start with really light weights, add it into your team, do it as an accessory after you made your lifts. So I really hope that helps. From Ken CrossFit, this is the Higa Monster. I'll see you guys next time. Shut up and train.